Whereas when I speak, when I converse with the atheists, I don't need the Quran. Because the beauty about Islam is Islam aligns your sound intellect with your natural inclination. Am min shayin am humul khaliqun. Were they created by nothing or did they create themselves? Am khalaqu samawat wal ard or did they create the heavens and the earth? But la yakunun, surely they have no certainty, right? Allah says indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth, in the alternation of the night and the day, these are signs of His existence, right? So I don't even need to use the Quran. You just ask them a simple question to the atheist that, look, you are proof of an all-powerful, all-knowledgeable being. Somebody must have created you. No atheist or no human being, no child will ever have this natural disposition to say that a creation like Jesus created me. No one. Yeah, because not, ev not everything is intuitive. Because not everything's intuitive. Of course not. But the would, basic. Would you, would but you, the basic. Would, you, would you think that entering into, into a God, entering into his creation, and then dying on the cross 2,000 years ago for our sins. It doesn't make sense. That, yes, it doesn't make sense to you. Yeah. It wouldn't it make sense to me to me either. It doesn't I, befit his majesty. For, for my, hmm? It doesn't befit his majesty. Yes. An all-powerful, look, look, imagine, uh, an all-powerful being diminishes the attribute to become weak. Yes. But this is, but this is, this is, this is God. Wait, wait, wait. He, 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 so was he always all-powerful? Wait, wait, God, 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 did God always exist? Yes, of course. So therefore, all of his attributes existed eternally, correct? God entered his, his creation. Wait, wait, I know, and I he know. Died, he died on the cross. This, this is a I proven, understand that. Not a proven fact, but it's a well-known fact of history. I understand that. But that Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago. Whether he died or not, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not relevant to our discussion about whether Jesus is to be worshipped. Because does, Je does God die? The humanity of Jesus died, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Hang. Oh, so it wasn't the, it wasn't a divine sacrifice, it was a human sacrifice. So there's nothing this, divine. The sacrifice was only possible because Jesus was divine. No, you said from the human side. Yes, his, Jesus. So it wasn't. God, God so, didn't, didn't, Jesus didn't so cease it, to exist. So it wasn't a divine sacrifice, it was a human sacrifice. So what was so divine? No. Jesus, because he was divine, he was, this was the only reason why he was able to be sinless. I, I, I tell you, with all due respect, I tell you why Christianity. Look, do you know, according to the census in 2021, in England and Wales, do you know Christianity is no longer a, a, a majority religion now in this country? Less than 50% are, are, are identified Christians. And now Islam is growing. Do you know why? Because Islam, because do you know why? Because it's, people are starting to look into Islam, right? And they know that Islam makes sense to them, like internally. The most important thing is the concept of God. If, if the concept of God is irrational, illogical, then anything that proceeds after the religion must be false. Do, do, okay? you, do, you, know, do you know that, that there are many scholars out there, Muslim scholars like Zakhar Naik and others, who are talking about the, not a scholar. The, the avalanche, he's an apologist. Apologist you could call it, yeah. Yes, okay, whatever it is. They are talking about the avalanche within Islam, of the youth falling away from Islam, yeah. up to 25%. Oh, really? You are, you are talk, you're telling me that Islam is growing, maybe by the numbers, not by... By 2075, it will be the major world religion, yes. Maybe we can talk then later, but yeah. as I said before... Why are people, I would, I would, why are people I would, leaving I would, Christianity? I would, like, I would like, because of ignorance. Ignorance, ignorance. Ignorance, ignorance is the biggest enemy of... Do you know, according to, according to, according to Kate, Kate Sabiri, she did a study that uh, all of the British converts here, on average, they studied several years before they accepted Islam. Several years. And you know, there was a far right uh, Australian, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sherman Burgess. Yeah, Sherman Burgess. He accepted Islam. Far right. Yes, I've heard of him. And even the former Dutch uh, Van, Van Gogh, something like that, yeah, yeah, accepted yeah. Islam. Why? Why? Because they looked into Islam cognitively. Thinking rationally, oh, yeah. So you're, you're yeah. I didn't do it. Huh? Look, 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 look. I cannot I guide you. I cannot. I, tried, gu I cannot guide you. I tried, I tried I to tell you, you this now a couple of times, yeah. but but always it came back to the deity of Christ and to the Trinity. But you make deity of Christ so important. So I'm talking about God. It is. A, What's the it problem? Is a, it's important. But to me, I want to bring it down to a level where everybody, everybody in this park can talk about this. Okay. Ask. And this is this okay, is trust, go, go, go. trustworthiness. Okay. Okay. Muhammad says this, that he is prophesied in the Torah. I'm not even talking about, uh, I'm not talking, look, 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 I'm not even talking about, what you're talking about is messengership. We're not talking about messengership. What I'm talking about is the concept of God first. See the steps. Listen, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I've, I've, tried, look, look. I, I've tried now look. numerous times to go into the subject. No, 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 no. You are, you are no, always interrupting. No, no, no. Let, interrupting. No, Matthias, Matthias, look, the reason why I'm interrupting right now, and let me tell you why. Because we're not even disputing about the revelation. 
this is the point. I'm not even disputing about revelation, right? If you if you agree with the Islamic definition of God, and by the way, the Islamic definition of God, it aligns with your natural instinct. Now that doesn't mean it proves that the Quran is the word of God. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying I'm just saying that Islam is the only religion that connects to your human nature. That you know from your natural instinct that whoever created me is not weak. Whoever created me doesn't need to be breastfed by his mom. Okay, you know that. You know that. So it's human thought. Right, right. No, no, no. It's not human thought. You know objectively that whoever created you cannot be weak. Must be all powerful. But he can make. Must be all knowing. Do you not get the point? Again, we are going into the subject. No, 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 we can go to. I tried. I tried it now several times, and I think you don't. You don't want to go this way. No, no, no. I tell you. I tell you why. Because yeah, and now it goes again into the subject. I tell you why. Because Trinity. Do you think is Trinity a very important component for salvation? Of course. So why So why can't we speak about God then? So why can't we just? No, no, no. What you're doing is. It all boils down to trustworthiness. Huh? Your, your basis for your, for your faith, one of your bases, is of course the Quran, right? For me it's the Bible. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. we're not even talking As about the Quran, we're not even talking about the Bible, we're talking about God, right? Why, God, okay, why don't, has, okay, why don't, has, why don't, why don't you accept Hinduism? Why don't, you're going... No, no, you do know, no, wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Why don't, okay, do you have a problem with Hindus worshipping idols? What do you mean with, with problem? This is a very simple it, it question. Is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is their choice in life. Is it, is it idolatry? Yes, of course. What's the difference? Wait, wait, wait. I would love for them to come to Wait, wait, wait. I know. And I would love people to come to Islam. But first of all, look, look. If you see a Hindu worshipping a statue, okay, what would be your uh, reaction? What would you tell them? Look, their belief, of course, that's, that's their belief. But is that wrong? Well, they, they wouldn't deny that they are, no, no, no. are uh, worshipping Muslims. No, according to you, according to you. No, I'm not even making that claim. I'm just saying they believe that this statue is a means for them to get close to the Creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they worship them. So I'm asking you, do you have a problem with Hindus worshipping idols? Not a problem in the sense that I would like um, attack them for that. No, no, I'm not saying about attack. I'm Wait. just saying rationally speaking, would you, do, you have a, do you have an issue that Hindus are worshipping idols? and statues, they and monkeys, mind. and animals. No, because only God is worthy of worshipping us. So you don't have a problem if, 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 if Hindus worship monkeys? I'm not quite sure if I, if I understand you. I'm look, 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 the reason why I'm saying, because if you... Sh so do you agree with the Hindu th theology? No, of course not. So what's the difference between your belief, that you believe that Jesus I is, is to worthy God. to be... Wait, wait, hang on. They believe in one God too. Hindus believe in one God. They, they believe in do you know? Do you know what they believe? No, 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 no. But you believe in three. That's the difference. No, you, <laughs> that's see, the difference. You, you see, you're coming back to this. This is your. This, no, this no, is your no, only, no, 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 no. Hindus, which, which no, no. Hindus. Hindus see, see. Here's, here's, here's the reason why this is very important. Hindus believe in one God. They believe in one God, but they have multiplicity of gods. So, for example, they say Brahma is the creator, Shiva is the destroyer, and Vishnu is a sustainer but they still believe that Brahma is the ultimate supreme creator now the difference is this we as Muslims we have a problem with them why because they're committing shirk they associate partners with God we have a problem with Christians as well because you're associate partners with God I don't see the difference between you and Hindu I don't see the difference okay I will try it one more time go on if not I'm um Offering your coffee for one, one last time and then we are gone. Trustworthiness of the one who revealed. Okay? Muhammad, God revealed through Muhammad the Quran. Is that correct? I'm not going to go. Uh, do, do you know why, Matthias? Do you know why, do you know why Matthias? I'm not going to go through that. Because you already agreed with the concept of God in Islam and yet you want to embrace the Trinity. And you cannot, you okay. cannot embrace both at the same time. I have not. Tried like five, six times. Do you agree? Uh, uh, Matthias, do you not see? Do you not see? The, look, do you not, not see? No, 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 I'm, Matthias. I'm, I'm, I'm do you open, not see the point? I'm open, I'm open for a conversation. I, look, 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 I'm open for as well. Somebody who is open. I'm You're open. Not. I'm open. But the first question you have to admit: Do you agree with the message of Tawheed? If you agree the message of Tawheed, you cannot reconcile with Trinity. It's that simple. One God. No. One Just, God only. What's the name again? Raihan. Raihan. Yes. Because when I ask you the question, look, God is not born. God does not produce offspring. God, God is one and only. Was Jesus born? 
Gregorian, God, according, God, to, wait, 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 according to Gregorian this, calendar, wait, wait, no, 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 that's, got, that's got nothing to do with the point. One. No, no, Matthews, so listen, listen, was Jesus born, yes or no? God bless you. Was yeah. he born? Yes, he was. He entered his creation. According to Gregorian yes. calendar, why do we go by Gregor Gregorian calendar? How does it go? Second. Why do we say 2023? What does it mean when we say year 2023? According because to it's you. after Christ's birth. So Christ is God, so God was born. God <laughs> entered his creation. But he's still God, he according to you. And he is the only one who can forgive but your you, sins. But do you believe in the two natures? God is the only, Jesus is the only one who can forgive your sins. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay. No, no, he's, no. He's, 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 sorry. He wants everyone to come to him. And to no, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, no. See, this is the problem. You have to get the foundation correct, right? If yes. you already agree, Lam Yalid Walam Yulad, God does not beget, He does not produce offspring, nor was He born. If you agree with that, do you know why you agree with that? Because it clicks with your instinct. Yes. That's and the reason. We've, we've now, talked, Jesus, we've about now Jesus, now Jesus, now Jesus, according to you, He was born. How can you believe in God who is not born? And Jesus, who you say is God, is born at the same time. Oh, okay. We've talked about this multiple times, and I've tried it, yeah. but can I give you something I've written? What about? Because I've read the Bible, by the way. I've read the Bible. I, I went through the Christian school no, system no, something that from I've, primary school, secondary school. Something school, that I've written. Huh? Yeah. All right, take this. What is this? I'll accept. I'll accept your gift if you accept this gift. Thank you, man. Are you, are you going to read it? Huh? Are you going to read it? Because, yeah. you know, I have, no, I have nobody who, uh, who funds this. This is my money, which I've given out. Okay, sure, 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 no problem. So I've written this in... Um, I traveled, as I said, around the world. Yeah. And when I traveled to uh, Iran, it was the, the time when there was the celebration of Eid. Eid Goban. Eid Goban. Or... Eid Al-Adha. Yes, you pronounce it differently. Yes, yeah, no, no, it's fine. And it is um, based on Genesis 22. 22nd chapter of the Torah or in the Quran you can read it in Surah 37 and uh, yeah go on so this this started this project for me sure 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 which um, I've tried to uh, the five books to, of the Jews yes the Jews <laughs> this is for you thank you very much yeah I'll look and into I it hope that you just a quick question read. before I go you mentioned about Prophet Muhammad Sallam. can you prove to me in the Torah can I ask you this question why were the Jewish tribes in, in Yathrib in Medina why were they why were they there 200 years before the prophet came? You know why? Because they were waiting for a prophet in Arabia. <laughs> why? It's your interpretation. No, no. Well, this, is a, this is a historical fact. Why would the Jewish tribe, and you know Arab and Jews, they don't like each other, right? Why would, why would you settle in an Arab land? Go, go and look into the history. Jewish tribes. Abdullah bin Salam accepted Islam. Ka'b al Ahdar. This is your homework. You should. This is your homework. Investigate. Your, investigate I, why. Homework my homework is this. Wait, wait, wait. Your your, your homework is why were the Jewish tribes? Why were they settling in Medina? So so why why should I make homework if you are not willing to listen to me? I've tried to you to, to, to talk to you about this one subject which is on my heart. I'm willing to which listen is also, to you. Listen which is also in this. I have listened to you. No no no. How long are you? No, 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 to be fair, to be fair, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry, no. we have a good don't worry, don't worry. Because, 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 it's between us, don't worry, bottle coffee. Because bottle coffee. I have tried it multiple times to talk about the subject of trust, trustworthiness. Why can I trust your prophet? Why do you trust? Oh, right, right, okay, go on. And you have now, multiple times, yeah. I've, tr I've said to you, listen, I want to talk about this. And you've always diverted. If I, if I, if, if, okay. I'm not going okay. to if I, if I, if I, if I, if I do establish the, 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 the trustworthiness that Muhammad is the messenger of God, then would you would you uh, would you stop believing Trinity and you believe in oneness of God? If I if I if I would have I told you the story how I read the Quran and how I stopped and how I oh, so no 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 I, I wasn't even interested in that. No, the most no, important, no, no, the most no, foundation, no. the most important belief is to believe in the oneness of God. The oneness of God is the most important, right? And if you agree with me that God is one and only, He's all powerful, all knowledgeable, and that He's not born, He doesn't beget, then you cannot say that Jesus is God because Jesus was born. So you can so this is why I have an issue with you, right? What it is, it's connecting with your natural instinct, but because of your 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 belief in Christianity, that it's now become polluted. So no, now what you're trying to do, you're trying to reconcile both. That God cannot be born, but Jesus as God, that according to the Bible, which you say, is born at the same time. 
This is the issue. So if I if I cannot agree with you on this, then I cannot proceed. Yeah? That's me, Matthias. God bless you and I will pray for you. Yeah, thank you. May Allah and, guide you to Islam. No, yeah. not to Islam, to the truth. Yeah, and may Allah see, guide you to you Islam. There, 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 no, there, there's, there, there's where, where I see the issue. You say, may God guide you into Islam, and this is like unconditional. What if Islam is not true? I know Islam is true, 100%. Yes. Do you know? Do you know? I was on. Uh, do, you, do you know? Not many people know this. Do you know? I was on the verge of leaving Islam. Do you know why? Because I started to look into Christianity when I was 16 years old, and God has given me this 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 early age of this inquisitiveness to seek for the truth. So I looked into the Hindu scriptures. I looked into Christianity. I looked into Judaism, and my conclusion was Islam is the only religion that fits the criteria. It agrees with my human instinct, and the Quran is, is a confirmation of my fitrah as well as establishing that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger of God. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, may, you know, first of all, he was known to be honest and trustworthy. This is indisputed. And the Hadith and the Hadith methodology, if you're going to reject Hadith, you've got to reject all the history. You've got to reject all history. And he was known to be a al Almin. He's honest and trustworthy. Well known, according to Encyclopedia Britannica, yes, according to early exact, according to early sources, Muhammad peace be upon was known as an upright, honest man. So it doesn't make sense to me that as a forty-year-old man, forty years of of a people is knowing that he's true, all of a sudden he's going to make the biggest lie in history. It doesn't make sense. Secondly, secondly, the Quran, secondly, the Quran, the Quran gave many many proofs. For example, to produce a chapter like it, no Arabs. At the time of the Prophet Peace okay, up until you can, now. You can, you can proceed with your presentation for the camera while I've gone, okay? Yeah. If I'm absolutely true. If you seek for God, not only may, God, may Allah guide you to Islam, yeah. but if you are open with your heart and say, God, guide me to the truth. I always say, <laughs> where, where, where it, it, wherever it might lead, it will not lead to Islam. I always say, it, it will not lead to Islam. We always pray for guidance in our five, in our five daily prayers. <laughs> so I do that every time. No worry. Don't, you, you don't need to worry you, about me. Don't if worry. You, if you say, guide me into Islam, this is... Islam, do you, know, do, you know, do you know what Islam means by definition? What does it mean? Submission. Submission to God. Yes. Did Jesus submit to God? Yes. Who did he submit? Did he submit to the one and true God, the Father? Or did he submit to himself this would actually, as God? This would actually, would, would actually have been part of the presentation which I would, would have loved. But you've already... Look, 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 the thing is, the reason why I deliberately don't want to use the Bible it's because I don't believe the Bible to be the word of God, right? If you want to go down that route, I will. Because I have read the Bible, right? You are already breaking the greatest command according to Jesus. What? And you even said yourself, Jesus or confirms the Shema. You know Jews, every morning they wake up and they recite the Shema. Do you know that? I, I recite it myself. You recite it yourself? Yes, of course. So did Moses believe in Trinity? Listen. Do you want a coffee? Coffee, I'm leaving. No, 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 Matthias. Now, 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 you want me to bring the Bible, so I will ask you the question. No, I if you are breaking, look, if you're breaking, look, you are breaking the greatest commandment. No, that's fine. No, no, Matthias, it's fine. Look, look, I'm calling for the Bible now. What did you say? Do you want a cup of tea or a coffee? Uh, no, I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for the offer. Would you like thank you for the offer, Matthias. It's clean, I've washed them all very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, would you no, like thank you for your offer, Matthias. Oh, no. Your coffee, because we're going to go and have one. <laughs> I know you're escaping because you want a cup of tea and it's cold. Okay, so have a cup of tea. I'm not escaping. But I've, I've okay, tried, all right. I've tried. Right. I've tried with, 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 yeah. Light speed. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm only joking. I've tried. Where are you from? I've tried the dialogue. I've tried the dialogue. No, I understand that. We, 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 that's all we, 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 when Jesus says the only true God is the Father, in John chapter 17 verse 3, how do you understand that? When Jesus says in John chapter 17 verse 3 that the Father is the only true God, how do you understand that? Uh, he already has. When Jesus says the only true God is the Father. No, no, Jesus says the only true God is the Father. All right, take care of yourself. Take care.